look look at this it's so satisfying you guys have no idea i mean this thing is so quick so fast Hey, what is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be doing mailbag time. I finally received a bunch of new things and uh, which I think are pretty interesting. So some things have been requested, some things are just random and some things are for future projects. So let's get started. Now, first things first, as you can tell, this little monster right here, this is the JLB racing. I think it's called the cheetah. Um, this thing is insane. It's huge. Like the pictures, the videos cannot compare to how big this thing actually is in real life it's a half a meter long i mean uh, my hand can barely grab one wheel i mean that's like it's like it's 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 crazy so um i don't know how to put this into perspective this is the highest i can actually set this uh camera up right now now this thing comes with 120 amp esc and uh, it does come with the transmitter. It's ready. It's ready to go, basically, ready to fly or ready to drive. I don't know what they call these. This is my first professional ever, or professional grade or hobby grade RC car, and I did not expect anything like this. Like the speed, I, I basically drove it when it was dead because I, I when I saw how big this thing was, the box was like about. Uh, 750 cents. It was huge. It was. I was like, "What the hell just came in the mail?" Because I, I don't think I ordered anything that big. I've never even gotten such a big box in the mail. Um, even when I received my CNC machine and my um, what is it? My 3D printer. It wasn't in such a big box. It's 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 ridiculously insane. The speed is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I crashed it full throttle into a metal pole. I thought I broke it, but then when I came and I checked it out, it has this, look at this, even some of the plastics where it's going to be, uh, where, where it's going to take impact is actually pretty flexible. It's stiff, but flexible. So it has some give metal chassis. It's, it's, it's crazy. Oiled filled springs. I don't even know what the hell that meant until I just started. It's just, it's, look, look at this. It's so satisfying. You guys have no idea. I mean, this thing is so quick, so fast. Um, this is like, it's like a quadcopter on the ground. It's that crazy. I've never, ever drove something so fast. And I guess this is one of the fastest ones out there right now, which is, um, I, I just, oh my goodness. <laughs> I literally feel like it's Christmas. Um, I haven't felt this way in a very long time. And um, I, I, I just can't explain it. I really can't. I have to figure out a way to make a review for this thing because it's insane i think it's it was pretty expensive too it was around 200 bucks i think but i could tell you something it was it's totally worth it now i can't do it from here we'll do that later fix that up later do i have anything in there no all right so yeah this thing is um you, you i mean it's huge i i can't i can't even come it's heavy too so let's put this to the side now uh because it's taking up all of my table here because i got other things too i mean hold on let's just see a comparison next to a quadcopter uh, can you see that it's just the quadcopter is basically as big as the wheel here so that's pretty crazy that was a frog by the way most of you have a frog so you know how big that is it's a five inch quadcopter all right so let's get to the other stuff let's see what else we got here uh this thing i got from banggood this was actually they they contacted me said hey would you like to try this out and i said um i don't know and then i said yes i think yeah uh this is some type of wireless transmitting i think it's basically for inav but i think we could use it it's to 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 basically transmit something over wi-fi i have no idea just yet i'll leave a link to it down below i need to play around with it i still i didn't even understand from the post so i was like okay i'll take it and maybe it could be used for something maybe a future project so we'll, we'll see this one we'll see something about this later on what else did i get i got another dell rc f722 i highly recommend you go pick some up these are insane. They have dual gyros. It's an F7 flight controller, so you can stick with the MPU 6000 gyro. And if you feel brave enough, oh, bump it up to the ICM gyro. It comes soft mounted, 9 volt, or I think it was a 10 volt regulator. I think it's a 10 volt regulator and a 5 volt regulator and a 3.3 volt regulator on this flight controller, which is crazy as hell. So I got another one because I know I'm going to be using more than one. This might be my go-to flight control. This is not an all-in-one flight controller. This is just a flight control. Now it has everything needed except providing the power to the ESCs. So take that into consideration. This thing is a beauty. And if you haven't seen it, check my review of this one. All right, 
Racer Star Metal BL Heli 32 4 in 1 ESC. So basically, it's like an Iron Man kind of theme going on for it. And I can tell you something in real life, this thing looks really nice. But looks, obviously, isn't everything. Now, when I first picked it up, I didn't open the heatsink just yet. I thought we'll do that together or maybe leave it for the review video. So I see it has really good filtration or somewhat seems like it's pretty good filtration, uh, which is really nice to see the really pretty big uh, capacitors here. And uh, there's a little tantalum right here going on for it. I don't know its current specs. I know it's a BLH 3250 amp, and I think it takes up to a 6S. And what I can tell you from seeing it right now before we go into the review, I'll probably pop this off with the review. Uh, it's using the not by 3 by 3 uh, MOSFETs, using the bigger MOSFETs, I think. That's what it looks like here. <sighs> yeah, we're going to keep that for the review. It does come with a lot of other cool things. So this will be upcoming possibly tomorrow. Don't know yet. So we'll see how this goes. I got a bunch of Arduino Nanos because there's a lot of new projects and a lot of awesome things coming. So that's something very important and interesting. Also, there's something pretty cool and unique. These guys. Now, I highly recommend if you've been following my DIY stuff, uh, like the DIY drone finder. Where is it? I put it somewhere. There it is. Oh, it has some wires coming out to it right now because I was doing some kind of a diversity uh, quadversity mod for a goggle, but I'll keep that for a later video. So it's this kit right here. It'll be sold on Banggood soon, but currently until they get them in stock, uh, what you can do is you can purchase the PCB from my shop. It's a bit expensive, but th that's how, you know, I, I can't do anything. The shipping is, is expensive, and then the shipping to me is also pretty expensive. So, uh, yeah, these, if you wanted to pick some up until Banggood, Banggood will probably be selling them as kits, so we'll see how well that goes. And uh, if you really can't wait and you want one, you can go ahead and pick one up from my shop. So what you'll need is the RX5808. And I have a video on this, so you can go ahead and find it uh, it's a couple videos back. Uh, you're going to need RX5808, SMA port, a white OLED, three physical buttons, four resistors, uh, 100K and two and three 1Ks, Arduino Nano, voltage regulator, and some XT60. And this thing is basically a receiver, which you can connect to your ground station. You could take audio and video from these pads there. And it's also a quad finder. So you could find your quad. You could walk around with this like this and find your quad copter, which is pretty cool. And this is the reason why I did it. And uh, it does have mounting holes. So I listened to everybody. So this is the first version and um, it's just an absolutely beautiful beast. And there's a lot of awesome, cool things I'm planning to do with these kinds of stuff. So yeah, uh, Banggood will have these in stock very soon. If you wanted to buy a PCB, you can go ahead and grab one at my shop right now. So yeah. So yeah, back to my topic. That's why I picked up more RX5808 because I'm gonna try Triversity and Quadversity. Those are in the later videos. It'll probably take two months or so to create. But uh, currently I'm working on uh, the Diversity version of this one. So if you wanted a Diversity or just a single, you can uh, pick up whatever one you like. And right now I'm talking with Banggood to having them being sold as kits for as cheap as possible. That is my goal here. All right, what else did I get? I got the run cams provided by, uh, what is it called, Banggood here, which is uh, really nice. I still don't know how to use it, I haven't looked at any reviews, but I don't see where the hell to put the SD card, which trips me out, does it have an inbuilt memory? So that I didn't understand. Uh, the quality looks okay, but I don't know, I wouldn't, you know, I, I don't have any adapters for this just yet. So um, I'm going to have to 3D print something or just tape it up there. So yeah, I just, uh, yeah, we're going to be taking a look at this very soon, I have to charge this guy. And we'll see how well this performs. Now, um, I don't know how well it's going to perform, to be honest, because I love my GoPros, but I, I, I have to not be biased for this, so we'll see how well it does. Probably used for good for other things. Like, I, I could see myself using this probably for something else other than drones, at least for my channel. I mean, for others, I think it'll work just fine. So, yeah, we'll be checking this out very soon. It's really nice, though. It feels good in the hand, but that's all I can really say right now. So, yeah, I'll leave a link to this down below. If you can check that out, really support the channel. What did I get here? I actually picked up more F3 ESCs. Uh, so what are these? These are obviously the, the Hollybro Tico 32 F3 ESCs. They're using an F3 microcontroller unit, which means they're faster and they run really good with a minimal amount of filtration. And now they're being sold with even a low ESR capacitor. And this is a Chinese branded one. I can't really tell. I think it's a pretty expensive one too, if I remember correctly. Uh, we're going to be seeing these in an upcoming video with these provided low ESR capacitors because the ones that I got didn't have, it wasn't in this packaging, it was completely different. And then if you get the four pack right here, which is, would be, I think, a little bit cheaper on you, they provide all the wires, four low ESR capacitors, and the four ESC. So that's a total of eight right here. So we'll be setting some of these up on our ESC testing quad. Now, what else is there? 
Patreons, 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 Patreons. Very important news. Now, I recently got contacted by Patreon. I think they're contacting everybody saying that uh, remove the thing about, you know, giveaways and stuff from your Patreon page. But don't worry, they're still going to be there. Um, but now what else I want to do, I've added new uh, tiers that uh, if you sign up to every single project I create, no matter what it is, uh, you're guaranteed a free board uh, shipped out by me. You don't have to pay anything. So every time I come out with a new project, you see me do one of these ESC testers or revision or whatever, uh, you're going to get a free one. And um, yeah, that's, that's that's what I want to do. Give back some money. And if I did have, if I had the kits, like if I was selling the kits on my shop, if I had a complete kit ready, I'd send you the whole kit completely ready. But if I just got made PCBs for a little project, then I will send you the PCB or whatever kit it was. You know, the ESC tester, the FPV drone finder, whatever. And uh, sometimes randomly throughout my shop, if you purchase anything, I might do some random things like first 10 customers gets, you know, I, lately I've been actually shipping some of these out for free inside uh, people who purchase things from my shop as a little surprise, which is really nice, I think. I think it's really nice. Um, it's, it's, they're really useful, to be honest. I really see them as useful. Uh, also, I do have the Dell RC F722 available in stock here in Europe, and I just have a couple limited quantity supplied by Dell RC. So if you wanted to go pick some up, I do have a couple, especially if you're in EU, it'll be a lot quicker for you. And um, well, I think that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you possibly in a couple hours or tomorrow. Don't know yet. We'll see. Peace out, guys.